When a scuba diver goes down, 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 the weight of the water above pushes down with a lot of pressure. To find out what effects this can have on a person, we talk to deep sea explorer Sylvia Earle. The air that we breathe consists about 20% of oxygen, about 80% nitrogen, and a little bit of a few other gases that are mixed in there. At surface pressure, this presents no problem, but under pressure, the amount of nitrogen that is actually in our uh, breathing mix is, is greater than at the surface because unlike something solid or liquids, air gases are compressible. And in fact, there's a law that describes this phenomenon, Boyle's Law. There is an inverse relationship between the amount of pressure and the volume of molecules of gas that are in a specific area. She told us that nitrogen can accumulate in a diver's tissues and can cause a deadly problem called the bends when a diver comes back up too quickly. By quickly returning to the surface, the, the gas that's accumulated in the diver's tissues expands just as when you pop the lid off of a soda bottle when that pressure is released, when the, you take the lid off, you get this explosion of little bubbles. The same thing happens in the tissues of divers that return quickly to the surface when they have a lot of compressed nitrogen, in this case, gas, in their bloodstream. That action of expansion that causes great pain and the condition known as the bends. It can not only be painful and debilitating, it can also be deadly. People die from the bends. In order to avoid the bends, it is possible to undergo a process known as decompression, that is to slowly return to the surface and to allow enough time for the gases to escape from your system. If using compressed air just to take a normal dive, such as a sport diver might do, to go, say, stay at 100 feet beneath the surface for as much as an hour, that requires some decompression before it's possible to come back to the surface safely. And this, this is all prescribed in diving tables that will tell you how long you must stay at certain depths and to pause there and to breathe air and meanwhile watch the fish go by and entertain yourself every you like <laughs> for a period of time before going back up to the surface. It's really amazing how important math is to the everyday life of divers. Decompression tables are based on a formula which takes into account the characteristics of gases and the effect of pressure on those gases and the effect of the gases under pressure on you as a diver. We found out that other technologies such as robotic submersibles and submarine-like submersibles, which carry scientists aboard, are helping Sylvia Earle and others explore the oceans without the problem of decompression. I was able to avoid decompression problems while diving to 1,250 feet in the gym suit because inside the atmosphere was at one atmosphere of pressure, the same as you have when you're at the surface. Uh, I was using a, a rebreather system that I carried on my back the way astronauts do when they walk around in space or on the moon and the air just came to me through a mask that I was wearing at one atmosphere of pressure. No decompression. For the future, I want to go to the deepest part of the sea. Of course I want to come back. <laughs> and it's the technology, the science, the mathematics that will make it possible for me and for others who aspire to go to the deepest part of the ocean to do just that.